Hey guys, it's Sin Queen, and today I'm doing another house for my save file. This time, this is going to be a base game house, which I've never done before. I've had people request it a couple of times, and it's just something I've been sort of putting off because I didn't think I would enjoy it that much, but I actually did enjoy it. It was really fun. I might do some more. I might do a base game starter. Um, but yeah, this one is over in that neighborhood, kind of where like the pancakes live. Um, I don't consider this to be like a starter neighborhood really, more like a family sort of neighborhood in Willow Creek. And um, yeah, so I did the exterior of the house and I didn't decide that this is going to be a base game build until I finished the exterior of the house. Um, I sort of just finished it, looked around and I was like, oh, this actually is all base game that I used for the outside of the house. I think there was a couple of things. I think the pillars that I used were from a, a pack, but I just switched them out. Um, so I thought, you know, if I've gotten this far, I might as well keep going with that theme. Um, you will see me throughout this video place a few things that are not base game. Um, it's just really hard to remember <laughs> that, I'm, that I'm doing a base game house. And yeah, so I, there's a few times where you'll see me place those things and I do end up removing them later. Um, by the by the time it was all said and done i went to upload it on the gallery and what you can do is just save the house to your own gallery and it'll tell you what packs are used in the build and it actually i had like five packs in there so um a couple like those pillars there i believe were from i'm not sure where they were from but the pillars were from a pack i used a couple of like kids items a couple of kitchen items so i had to go in and take all those things out and i scoured the entire house and the gallery was still telling me that i was using um outdoor retreat but i think that's what it's called yeah but i'm not i don't know where it is um i have gone through this entire build inside and out and i cannot find what they're talking about um i did realize that there was a tree at the back of the house that was out outdoor retreat i got rid of that um yeah, I looked so hard and I don't know what it is. I truly do not believe there are any outdoor retreat items in this game. I even went online um, to like the, I think it's the Origin website and it'll tell you, it'll show you each pack and what comes with the pack. And I scoured through every single build item and made sure none of those things were in my build. And it still says that outdoor retreat is on there. So that's really frustrating that it's not showing up as a base game on the gallery, but Hopefully you won't have any trouble downloading it if you don't have Outdoor Retreat. Um, and there was another point that I wanted to bring up that I completely forgot. Um, oh, I added uh, upstairs there's a laundry room because what I've been trying to do for my save file is add thermostats and laundry rooms to every build that I'm doing just to add some realism. But of course I forgot at the end that um, laundry is not base game. It came with laundry day stuff pack. So I had to get rid of the laundry room and I replaced it with a different, like another bathroom instead. And I'm loving the exterior of the house as it is right now. But sadly, I realized that those uh, shingles, which you can't see right now, but they're the blue sort of like scalloped at the top there. You can see them, those sort of scalloped uh, shingles. Those came with um, the cats and dogs pack. So I had to get rid of it, which sucks because I love the way it looked but uh, I did have to change that. And the chimney, I used a vampire, um, uh, a, like a brick that came with the vampire pack, so I had to get rid of that. It's just crazy how many things are not base game and you don't even think about it, you just use them because you're so used to it. Um, it's, it's hard to remember what comes with what pack, um, but it makes it easier in build mode because it does have like a little icon next to it telling you which pack it comes with. Um, but yeah, it, it was, it was, it was difficult to remember that I was doing this. So you will see me slip up a couple of times, but I really went through at the end and tried to fix all of those little errors. Um, but yeah, I actually really love this house. Um, I'm a little bit tempted to, uh, like, I don't, I'll probably have my Sims live in this house at some point. I don't remember how much this house is worth, but I will look it up. Um, but I do think that I'll probably have my Sims live in this house just because it's extremely functional. It's great for a family. I think it's got three bedrooms and two bathrooms. There's no bathroom on the main floor, but there are two full bathrooms upstairs. So I think it kind of works out. Um, and this video is being released right around the time that, uh, what's it called? Tiny Living? I think it's called Tiny Living. I haven't done enough research. This is like way pre-recorded, but yeah, it's being released just around the time that Tiny Living is being released. And I really wanted to do some videos right away and do some builds with Tiny Living immediately, but 
Um, unfortunately, it's just the release date isn't lining up with my recording schedule and I'm not gonna be able to do, um, well, maybe I could pull it off. I'm gonna really try, but I don't think I'll be able to um, do any Tiny Living videos right away. We'll have to wait um, until next week, which kind of sucks, but that's just the way that my whole schedule kind of works out with recording. So I love when packs are released on days that I can record because then I know that I can like get some content, content out right away. But in this case, we'll definitely have to wait. Uh, and then I do want to have like a little bit of a neighborhood somewhere in the save file that's just tiny living homes. And I'm trying to think of the best place to put that, uh, possibly somewhere in Newcrest. Um, yeah, I don't think Willow Creek, I don't think it suits Willow Creek. Willow Creek to me is too like traditional, I guess. Um, but maybe, yeah, possibly Newcrest. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it'll be Newcrest somewhere. But yeah, I will definitely think on that a little bit more. Um, and yeah, as you can see, I'm going now into the living room area. I did put like a little bit of an office at the back as well. There's like a computer d desk. Um, I use sort of a dark wood theme, which I don't normally do. This build to me is, is very Lil Simsy. Like <laughs> that's who I compl I feel like I channeled my inner Lil Simsy as I made this build. Um, because she does a lot of dark, um, like wood interiors and I almost never do, but I do like the way it looks. I think it's very realistic and it kind of flows nicely and yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so yeah, just trying to fill up some space. It's hard to use things that are base game, especially when you're so used to, to using things that aren't, or when you see an item that's perfect, um, for what you're trying to do, but it's not base game. That's kind of frustrating, but Either way, I think it was kind of fun to do. Um, the L-shaped stair, I really enjoyed doing as well. I haven't been doing a lot of those, uh, mostly because it's not quite what I pictured the L-shaped stairs. I don't know why. I think mostly because I want the stairs to be like, see the the top, um, the, t the bottom stairs is like four and then it goes up to like eight stairs. I kind of want it to be exactly half, but I guess it's kind of, that's kind of nitpicky, but to me it's more realistic to cut stairs in half um, instead of doing like four and then the the landing and then like eight more it just yeah I don't know I've never really seen anything like that so to me it doesn't feel that realistic but uh, I'm still pretty happy with it and I do like the way it kind of leaves things open in that house like the the railing that goes along the stairs there's no walls there so yeah it's kind of open I really like it um, so for the upstairs the master bedroom is fairly small it actually ended up being a lot smaller than I planned on having it and it does have a bit of a bal balcony there as well so there's a door which made it difficult for furnishing um yeah the, the parents bedroom i'm calling it it was it was a little bit tough um i do have some sims in mind that are going to be living in this house for the safe while it's a mom a dad and then a daughter and a son and i mean i didn't really give them much details um i haven't really thought about it that much I think the mom's probably a stay-at-home mom. Um, I, I don't know what the dad could do. I'm really not that sure, but to me, they're just more of like a traditional um, family. They probably don't have a super interesting backstory, um, but I have been trying to think of some really fun, quirky backstories for all my Sims. Um, so far, I do have all my townies created for the builds I've done so far. They are all moved in. I've got their little bios typed up. Uh, and they're all good to go. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm not behind, which is nice because I did like five builds and didn't make the townies as I was building. And all of a sudden I had to make like five families in a row to move them in. I really didn't want to do it all at the end because I knew I'd get tired of making Sims. Um, I much prefer creating houses than creating Sims. Uh, I do like doing, I, I like creating Sims. I love going into casts, um, but I mostly like to play with CC. And it's hard not to do Max's match, of course. We are, we are all about Max's match. I despise Alpha. I'm not even going to get into it. But um, yeah, I, I, I really like to use CC and it's hard not to do that. Um, and I have to use, I can use packs. It doesn't have to be just base game. I can use packs. But let me tell you, not using eyelashes is painful for me. Like, Sims are so ugly without eyelashes. And it's so frustrating that we don't have eyelashes in the game. Like, why not? I think just because they know we can easily get them, um, for, like we can just easily get CC eyelashes, but seriously, it trans uh, some eyelashes, they just transform a sim entirely. I don't know why they won't just give us eyelashes uh, in the base game because yeah, we, we need them so bad. I feel like every like female sim I make right now is like so boring and I, I don't know how to make them look more like, it sounds shallow, but attractive basically. 
Um, but I, I have been enjoying creating like the families and their little stories. I think that's really fun. I do enjoy creating pets in Cass a lot. I like playing around with that. Um, but yeah, for the most part, unless I'm giving a sim a makeover, I do like doing makeovers. I recently did the, um, the BFF household. Uh, so like Travis, Liberty, and um, Summer. And that was fun to do. I did like giving them makeovers. They badly needed them. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I, I enjoy building a lot more. Uh, as you can see, I just put down the washer and dryer and then realized I cannot do that because that's not base game, which was really painful for me. <laughs> it was very difficult for me. But for the save file, I may change it back to a laundry room just because if you're downloading the save file, you have to have all the packs anyway. So I don't know, I might actually end up changing that. Um, this is just for the sake of the build on the on the gallery basically just because I, and I want to do the challenge of making a base game as well, and I just like having that option on my gallery. But yeah, I, I may change that. Um, I changed the bathroom around a couple of times just because it perfectly mirrored the other bathroom and I didn't really want that. It just didn't seem like interesting enough. So yeah, I had to play with that, play around with that a little bit more. And I think that's pretty much it for the ex interior of the house. We're on into the exterior. I really love the way it looks, this little blue suburban. I, like I said, channeling my uh, inner little Simsy. But yeah, I really like the way that it turned out. Uh, I was really sad that I had to get rid of the trees though because both of them were from different packs. So I had to switch them out and put different trees there. Uh, but I have been enjoying landscaping lately. It's always been my biggest downfall. I feel like I, especially when I first started, I was terrible at it. I didn't even landscape actually. I just made a build and didn't really add anything else on the outside, maybe a tree. But I'm getting more into it now and I'm seeing how a, how some landscaping can really um, like transform the exterior of a build and make it look so good. And that's kind of why I've been enjoying doing it, just because it really elevates your builds. And yeah, I, I think I, I've been watching some tutorials as well on um, how to landscape and I think it's I think it's been really helpful. I like to make it look realistic though. Sometimes people go a little overboard and I don't want to spend hours um, placing like flowers and plants and bushes. I, I prefer to work on the interior of the house. I do, I really do prefer interiors than exteriors, but um, that's just because I think I'm a little bit better at it. But this one, I am really happy with how it turned out. And I just put a little bit of like dirt on the edge of the uh, pathway there just to make it look a little more realistic, um, added some more detail as well. And yeah, at this point I have not realized that those shingles came with cats and dogs and it was very hard for me to get rid of them because I love the way that that, that looked, those um, top shingles on the roof, but they have to go unfortunately. And for the outside of the house, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to put there. I always like to put some kind of like potted plant or just something to make the front porch look like not so plain. So I ended up going for um, like the, one of the planters that we got with, uh, oh, I think actually that's a base game planter. I just realized. <laughs> I didn't even know. <laughs> I, I thought that I was using a pack there, but I wasn't. Uh, and then I just put a bush inside of it and I thought it looked really good. And now for the back, just putting some hedges around the house, um, trying to add some detail, make it look not so plain and naked just because I, I feel like that's not that realistic. Like. There's always something going on, even on the sides of houses. And um, I think I just put like that barbecue back there and a couple of those planters, which are base game. Um, I think we must have got them with the gardening update. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the backyard. I think I just put in um, the monkey bars there and a, t a picnic table. I do end up putting a gate at the back with the garbage uh, bins at the back of the house, which I don't normally do, but I, I like that idea because it does make it seem more realistic. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this build. Um, I, you can expect a tiny living build or probably a few because I have a feeling I'm really going to enjoy this pack. I'm really excited for it. Um, but yeah, you can expect those probably next week. I'm really going to try to get one out as soon as possible because I'm so excited about it. But yeah, you can download this house on my uh, gallery. My Origin ID is SimQueen1992. If you enjoyed this speed build, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.